Good evening. Good sat happy Saturday, everyone. Um, wanted to say good morning um, and let you all know that uh, I'm excited because this month, October, I was told by Human Resources at Geo, the company that I talk about so much, I was told that they're going to start the interviewing process starting this month around, um, I think around the third, the third, um, the third week. Um, so I'm excited because I've been talking to Human Resources and uh, they're excited about me coming back to the company. So soon I'll be going back to what I love doing um, and I'm excited about that. I almost had an opportunity to become a training specialist with the same company, um, which would have been perfect. And I thought about everyone here who keeps talking about I'm such a motivational speaker. They can see me doing stuff like that. With that position, I would be traveling the country and training other people and being actually being in front of people um, and actually training them and whatnot. But before I get and go any further, how are, how was every one of y'all? How have your week? How has your week been? Um, and I've been thinking a lot about every each and every one of y'all, waiting to get over here and get another video done. Um, and also, and I'll tell you my thoughts about you all were this. Um, thought about a boat for some reason this week and I thought about the oars and thought about dreams thought about how each one of y'all have been my oars uh, and kept my boat floating um, so that it was not wandering aimlessly out in, in the middle of nowhere um, because of you all um, you helped me to stay focused and, and stay in and, and steer my boat in the right direction and I, by that I mean mentally um, because I'm not going to lie, I've had thoughts this week of pain and whatnot. I know in my last video, I think I talked about, I would talk about how I, I tried to commit suicide three times last year. And how no matter what I tried to do, the purpose, my purpose in life kept me here, kept me um, on this earth. And I guess it's my purpose said that you're not going anywhere until it has been fulfilled. Um, so... Um, I'm here. Um, I'm smiling this morning because I'm thinking about you all and thinking about how you all have kept me going and how you kept me focused again. I, I love every each and every one of y'all. Um, your thoughts, your prayers, your comments, all that. You, you kept me moving and motivated in life and kept me waking up every morning because you so you all are such wonderful people. Um, and also another update is I did, I talked to a, a um, surgeon, uh, last Tuesday and we talked about, um, the possibilities of the surgery that, that I'm going to be having done in the very near future. Um, hoping it's going to happen in the next few, next few, in the next, in the, in the, in the very near future. Um, and we talked about the different types of surgeries that's available now for Perry-Romberg syndrome, uh, how they can take the um, take take the uh, fatty cells out of my own body and, and transplant them up into my um, up in here, and then my uh, my body be re would be responding to my own um, body cells and be connecting, and blood would be flowing in that area. Um, so. Just an update, I have been talking to a physician, um, supposed to be scheduling a doctor's appointment here in the next couple of months. Um, and what I'm waiting for with that is I'm going to be waiting to see how I get stable on my job so I can know. Uh, right now, I, you know I think that I'm where I am temporarily. It's just a temporary position. Um, as, a, as everything in life is, is temporary. Um, even your bad situation, your good situations and all that, it's all temporary. It's just for the moment. Uh, before you know it, if you're going through something horrible, before you know it, you another day comes and you, you're walking out of that, whatever it was that was going on. But it, it's just temporary. It's just for the moment. Everything I've gone through has just been temporary. Um, when I say temporary, I mean that, okay, so it felt like it's been two and a half years waiting to go back to GEO. But even that two and a half years is gone. Um, so now I'm going to go back. Um, loving the fact that 
yeah, I, I am motivated now because a lot of things is, is coming my way. I'm very, very, very happy though because I have all of you and you're all in my life. <laughs> no matter what happened to me this week, I thought, you know what, I have some wonderful people backing me up, supporting me. And those those thoughts made me cry several times this week because I because I was blessed with you all. Um and of course I'm gonna keep you updated as to this position. Um when it when I'll be going for the interview for that, when I'll be called in for uh to take the position. Um but so then I guess one of the biggest main thoughts this week um, is the fact that I could never stop thinking about you all and how, how you all motivated me and how you keep me motivated. And again, like I said, you're like oars for me. Um, you, help, you help to keep my boat steering, keep me moving in a positive manner. No matter what's going on in my life, each and every one of y'all, you made me smile this week and you made me... Um, you made me happy. Um, my dominating thought was was you all. When I come back and do the next video, I'm um, gonna we'll try to do another one in the middle of the week next week. But when I come back and do it, I mean, I'm gonna get back on um, talking about the book that I started off reading, How to Escape Your Prison, and the concepts in that book. Um, but here, here lately, it's just been, I guess I've been raw on it just the whole time when I've been on the videos because I, didn't want to be scripted. I wanted to be real and, and, and genuine with all the people. There's people that um, started off on this journey with this video thing in, per in perfect perfections that started off with me that I haven't heard from in a while, and, and that's fine. Me, and they they get busy too, just like I do. I understand that, and they have things going on in their life as well. Um, but and even to those people who I haven't heard from in a while, still hello to you all. Um, and I'm not going to talk about my para Romberg syndrome too much today because um, it, for so many years, has dominated me and has dominated my thoughts. Um, I think a lot about since I've been working in the human, the human services field, dealing with people, working with people with disabilities and working with people with substance abuse issues and stuff like that. One thing I've learned is that when you're talking about um, someone with a disability, you always put the person first instead of the disability first. And what I what I mean by that is you wouldn't say, look at that wheelchair guy. You'd look at him and you'd, you'd say, the guy in the wheelchair. Or um, look at that Down syndrome child. No, it's not that. It's, it's a child with Down, Down syndrome because the child has a disability. The disability doesn't have the person. Um, so then thinking about me and my prior on syndrome, it's the same concept. Um, it's dominated me for so long. Um, and it's going to be corrected. It's going to get fixed. Um, hello, Pancake Man. How are you today? Um, you've shouted out to me a couple of times through um, messages, and I appreciate that. Again, you're a powerful person. I think everybody on my channel is just, like, awesome. I think, um, again, you have been my oars. Um, and I'd like to do one day do something to let you all know that, you know what, all the energy that you've put into me, put into the channel, has not been wasted, th that it's going to a positive and expected end. Um, I think about, when I think about an expected end, I think about the, the my favorite verse in the Bible is Jeremiah 29 and 11, where he said, he said, for I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So I think, when I think about that, I think about all the things I go through in life and all the struggles that I go through and all the pain that I've endured um, I mean, it's, it looked like things are falling apart and even with this para Romberg syndrome and how it's dominated so much of me I think about when he said um, for I know the thoughts I think towards you he said I already know you I already know what's going on with you he said thoughts of peace are not of evil he said I'm not trying to destroy you I'm not trying to destroy you everything that you're going through is not meant to destroy you but I'm trying to get you to an expected end and that expected end would be um, um, to final the final destination to a, a good place in life um, so that's my
favorite verse in the Bible, in the Bible Jeremiah 29, 11. And I'll say that again. For I, I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Um, so we're, we're on this journey, and we're trying to get to the to that end journey. We're trying to get to that place. Um, and along my journey, and when he talk about, he, for he know the thoughts he think towards me. So then he brought different. He brought you, all of you, into my life to keep me motivated, to keep me going. He said, I'm going to bring these good people into your life. Um, and that's what he did with my journey. With, it was brought you all into my life. Um, as, as the development come along with, uh, with the surgery, I'll be letting you know, um, giving you updates on that. Because um, I know within the near future it's going to happen. Um, it will happen. Um, and I love each and every one of you. I've been going through something uh, all week long, and like I said, I and, and you all are the ones who became my oars. And when I felt like my boat wanted to dock, each and every I thought about y'all, and there goes the oars picking me up and it's starting to stir and it's starting to paddle in the water to to keep me floating and keep me going along. And I think every each and every one of y'all, um, without my oars, I'd be a, like a ship without a sail i mean i'd be just wandering around uh, but then because i have such powerful oars in my life and that's you all um you help me to stay on track and stay keep my destination going um i think that it, i think that you know that now i'm i'm not gonna i try to do a 15 minute video i try to uh not go any further than 15 minutes I want to thank again each and every one of y'all for tuning in week week after week. Um, sorry, it seems like it's been forever since I did a video, and I know it's just been since last Saturday or Sunday. Um, but just wanted to poke my head in real fast to say thank you all. You know, and thank you every each and every one of you for everything that you've done. Um, one another update is that there was another family up around the Lumberton, North Carolina area, close to Wilmington, where the hurricane came in, um, and and um, messed the area up and there was a family that reached out to me and asked me uh, if I could help them and I went through, I, I, went, I went and bought up some groceries and I took it to the family because they didn't have anything to eat and there was like four children in that family and uh, the father works out of, out of state a lot and so the mother is raising, that, is raising those children um, well, actually, she's raising her grandchildren because the mothers of those children is in and out of their life. So the the um, it's what they call grand families. Grand family is a, a, a grandparents have to step in and take over the children from their own children, and they raise those children. So knowing that she was going through what she was going through, um, one a little baby who just turned a month a year old, it ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. So she's struggling with that. So. I tried to do what I could do. I didn't have a lot, but what I had, I tried to share it with the family. Um, and if you saw the look on their face when I showed up at the door with some groceries and you know some good wishes, they were happy. They were uh, ecstatic. Um, I know that everything good that you do, you, the energy that you put out is the energy you get back. So if you put out positive vibes, you'll get the same back. Not that I do anything to, to get anything back, I, I do it because I mean that's to see somebody else happy and 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 going is my is my plight. I love helping people. Um, so with that being said, we're approaching 14 minutes. So I'm going to say goodbye to you all, and I'm going to say I love you and um, thank you again for being my oars. Um, keep keep paddling, and I love that we're getting through this thing together. Um, with that being said, thank you so much, and I'm going to be out, out of here. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Uh, again, my leaving thought is this. Um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Thank you all. Have a good Saturday.